My name is Sam Benedict with Specialized Mountain Bike Marketing. I'm going to talk to you about the all new 2012 uh, Stump Jumper. Whole new platform for this year. Staying true to what the Stump Jumper is all about. It's got to be a bike that can go up and down all around anything you want to do. Stump Jumper is your bike. New for this year, an all new S Works 2.9er. We've never done big wheels in the S Works platform before, so we're really excited about an all new carbon frame. That's front and rear, 130 millimeters of travel, front and rear as well. And then a lot of really cool tricks in and out of the bike. Uh, things like internally routed command post, uh, carbon Revol 2.9 wheels, and those are trail specific. So a little bit beefier rim to fit up with the little bit wider tires that are coming on those trail specific bikes. Other really cool details, Kashima coated rear shock on the S-Works. And the really sweet part is the all new auto sag on every single stump jumper, whether it's the Comp or the S Works 2926, it doesn't matter. Every one of them comes with the specialized technology auto sag. It's one button, you press it one time, super fast and easy, and it sets your sag right out of the gate. Really simple, gets you rolling out of the gate with a perfect setup on your suspension. So the auto sag. It's something that we were just talking about, you know, kind of kicking around and meeting where, you know, a lot, you see a lot of people out there with, with badass bikes and, you know, they're out there having a good time or trying to have a good time, but their suspension just isn't set up properly because, you know, they didn't have time or didn't maybe know how to do it. So we wanted to come up with a way that you could set up suspension really easy and make sure that it was right out of the gate every single time. So this is manufactured with Fox, but a specialized technology. So what you do is you inflate your shock to 50 PSI over your body weight, just a you know standard style like you would on any, on any bike. Go ahead and jump on the bike. You take off your auto sag cap, put your, your weight into it, then you just press the auto sag button and you'll feel the excess pressure come out. Make sure it's all leaked. Give the bike a little bounce. I'm dating myself, Rachel. Bam, auto sag done. So in addition to the all new Stump Jumper line that includes 2.6, 2.9, carbon, aluminum, everything's all redone. We've also really focused in on the Evo models. Uh, last year in 2011, it was a huge success. People really liked the, the concept of the Evo, which was get a little bit more aggressive on the descending side of this trail. So we had uh, custom geometry, and we're gonna carry that forward. So the stump jumpers and the Evo platforms have lower bottom brackets, a little bit slacker head tube angles, and run more travel. So this 26 inch with an all new carbon front triangle has 150 millimeters of travel in the front, 150 millimeters in the rear, and also has an ISCG 05 tabs that you can run a full on chain guide if you wanted to. Actually, all stump, jump stump jumpers this year will have ISCG 05. So a really cool new platform. Uh, there is this model in the Carbon, Expert Carbon. There's a 29 Evo, first time we've ever done that. And then just to keep it on the real affordable side, there's a, a base model Evo. So that's uh, same concept, a little bit slacker, a little bit lower, command post come stock on there and that's at the comp level. So, you know, bigger Evo line and we're really excited about these bikes. They're super fun to ride. Cool, so another fun project we did this year was working with Troy Lee Designs on a totally custom demo weight colorway. So this is a standard demo weight in terms of geometry and comes with the same Cane Creek double barrel shock that's available on the, the standard demo weight too, but working with Troy Lee and his boys, we said just go nuts really get crazy with it and have, have a good time and, uh, and really kind of accentuate what's fun about the Demo 8, which is strong, fast, and, and badass. So you can see here, uh, totally new colorway, the nice sparkles in the paint, uh, cool specialized work in there, and you can see the, you know, the Troy Lee style uh, pinstriping and, uh, and a nice lightning bolt action in there. So only 250 available worldwide. They're gonna go fast, super limited edition, but very cool new frame talking about the all new status. This is a new platform for 2012. Me personally, I'm most excited about this bike because it's a, it's a downhill race bike, but for the people out there. The demo has got some great geometry, great momentum, has, has been a wonderful platform for us for many years, but we're really looking for a way that if you wanted to get into the downhill world, wanted a quality bike with good geometry and was strong, you can bolt on great parts. How can you get into that? 
and still be able to afford it. So that's where the status comes from. Total race frame, you can see the nice fast race lines. Good, nice and low geometry. 14 inch bottom bracket, 64 and a half degree head tube angle. It's an inch and a half, so you can bolt on whatever shock you want. And it'll become inspect with uh, Fox rear suspension and a, and a Rock Shocks domain up front. So super fun new platform. There'll be a Status 2, which you see here, as well as a Status 1 in a black and green that's uh, pretty salty looking. Salty. <laughs> and a black and green that's pretty fresh looking. This is the 2012 Camber Pro 2.9. Uh, Camber is an awesome family. This kind of came about as uh, as we've watched trail riding evolve over the years. You know, the Stump Trumper has always been a staple, been with us for 30 years now. And as that bike has kind of evolved into a little bit longer travel trail bike, we started to see more and more people that wanted a, a short, fun, capable travel bike. And uh, that's kind of where the Camber came from. So this has geometry that is trail. It's nice and slack in the head tube good low bottom bracket so you can really get into the corners but a little bit shorter travel it's 110 millimeters in the front and rear you can see an all new carbon fiber frame with internal uh, routing for your command post really cool pieces like a, a full carbon crank as well as completed with our revolve control trail wheels so these are our wheels made out of carbon fiber rims but specifically built for trail riding again with a, a bigger rim a uh, more durable rim to fit on those bigger tires and take those bigger hits. So really fun bike. Uh, this is something all new, new platform for this year and, and uh, really excited about this one. Hi, I'm Rachel Lambert. I'm the Women's Product and Marketing Manager at Specialized and we're here to take a few moments to talk about the all new 2012 Fate. This is the first ever carbon hardtail 29er for women and there's a ton of technology and features that went into it. Uh, some of the features that make this a super high performance uh, carbon hardtail for women in 29 inch, uh, we focused on three key areas and that was the fit and the efficiency and uh, the style. So for fit, it's the smallest 29er on the planet and we achieved that through an ultra low stack height, uh, super short head tube heights, it's a 90 mil head tube on the size 15 inch um, and uh, 80 millimeter travel forks on all sizes. Uh, flat handlebars, we really wanted to keep that stack height as low as possible so that uh, smaller riders can really have an aggressive riding bike. Some of the other fit features, ultra low standover height, and that's why we built in a gusset into the frame. And then we optimized the reach on the bike. The 15 inch actually has a custom offset fork. So the 15 inch utilizes a 51 millimeter offset fork with an optimized head tube angle to ensure that fantastic ride quality. Uh, this is a fact is construction frame, ultra lightweight carbon fiber. So one piece carbon uh, bottom bracket, maximizing the pedaling efficiency on the bike. Tapered head tube, it's an inch and a half lower bearing. So you get that really nice steering precision and that stiff uh, front end handling. Uh, what else can I say about the bike? It is the fastest bike out there in the women's uh, racing. Actually, a fun fact about the bike, uh, the Fate now holds the Leadville course record under Rebecca Rush. So Rebecca won Leadville this year on her 2012 Fate and uh, set the new course record out there. So fantastic bike with a ton of features. And uh, we think that not only is this a race ready bike, we actually call it trail capable. Um, I think that riders are gonna be blown away by the capability that the 29 inch wheels uh, provides and the stability in the ride quality. So we're super proud and excited to launch something like this for women because we think 29er is gonna really innovate people's riding. And uh, that's the fate. So what we got here is a bike that made history this last week in uh, Champery over there in Switzerland. This is Yaroslav Kulhavy's bike, the very first 2.9er full suspension to ever win a world. I was there, you could see how freaking nasty the course got. It was wet, it was rooty, and Kulhavy was the only guy in the, in the top group that was riding a full suspension and a 2.9er bike. So we're really proud. We knew that the Epic was fast, we knew the 2.9 was fast, and putting it together to become a world champion is something we're really happy about. The Epic this year, no major changes from last year, but some couple cool pieces that the racers have always asked about is now we have a top mounted brain, so you can adjust your brain fade on the fly. And we also have Kashima coated uh, specialized brain in the rear. And this shock is, is smoother, it's slicker, and the action on the brain is better than it's ever been. So no major changes other than now we've got a world champion bike.